as far as being in, you know, in farming or being in poultry, has been based my whole life. Yeah, from from the time we could get out there and fill the feeder trays and stuff when we was five, six, seven, eight years old till here today. <laughs> Our original house was an 81,000 bird house and then now we expanded here to 252,000 uh, in the new house so it gives us right at 318,000 birds uh, in that we'll have you know a little over 700 cases per day if both houses are in peak production we can make this work. Uh, Ron and Deb go a long ways back uh, we started working with them 28 years ago when they put their first building up and that relationship grew and then when they started to expand they came back for the larger building that we just completed and we just uh, worked together to get the deal done. It's been wonderful. Citizens National Bank was there when we needed them and um, Rod's very easygoing. Anyone who knows him knows that and I would call Charlene and say hey I need this much money transferred from this account to that account and she's like no problem come pick it up. <laughs> Doesn't get any easier than that. As the project progressed, usually Ron would come in with his binder of bills and we would sort through those and get inspections ordered and monitor the affidavits and waivers. But it's, it's been a very interesting project and I was glad to get to come out and see what, what was actually being done rather than just to hear about it. Citizens National Bank has been very, uh, very cooperative in what we were, what we were trying to accomplish here. Uh, Rod and Charlene both have been very helpful, uh, having the numbers that we gave them, having them look at them, and having the okay to go ahead within a week and a half of giving them the numbers was very good. And it wouldn't have happened without Citizens National Bank. Yeah, it would not have happened.